Hello friends and welcome back to another video on Strike Tonight's YouTube channel. In this video, we will learn about how to make a website, a live, fully functional website without having any coding skills. This is weird because our website is all about teaching coding skills to students and in this video, we'll cover how to make a website without having a coding skills. But yes, this is possible. Developing a fully functional website without having any coding skills. And not only this, we will set up a system where changing the website's layout would be possible by simply dragging and dropping things from here and there. And we will learn how to do all this in just under 10 minutes. So let's get started. So the complete process will involve five major steps. Step one will include thinking of a good name for your website and checking whether it's available or not. In step two, we'll buy a domain name and a hosting on godaddy.com. In step three, we'll set up WordPress on our hosting service and we'll set up our first website there. In step four, we'll learn how to change the theme of the website. And in step five, we'll just update our content as per our requirement on our website and our website will be ready to use. So before we buy a domain name for our website, we first need to check its availability. To check the availability, click on the link in the description below which says step 1. I have thought of a very cool name for my website. Let's see if it's available or not. So I'll type how to make a website dot go dot in and click on check availability. So the domain name how to make a website dot go dot in is available. In step 2, we will buy the domain name and the hosting for our website. So a domain name is nothing but the name of our website and hosting service is somewhere where all the files of the website are stored. So now go to step two, click on the button get hosting and free domain. It will take you to godaddy.com, click on get started and here type in the domain name that you want to buy. So as you can see, the domain name is available. Click on select and continue. A basic managed WordPress website's hosting is added already to your cart. For 12 months, it will cost you 1188, which is 99 rupees a month. And a domain name is added, which is available for free. So click on create account, enter your email, your username, your password, and a support pin which is a four digit number and click on create account. Now enter your billing information. Now choose the board of payment. I'm choosing net banking and click on complete on net banking to complete the payment using net banking. So I'll just quickly make the payment. and done. So now we have a domain name and a website hosting service with us. So let's head to step three where we will set up WordPress on it. So once the payment is done, you'll see this screen on your website where it says WordPress sites and we haven't added any website yet. So let's click on add site. Click on get started. Now pick a domain name. So we have just bought a domain name and we'll select the domain name and click on next. Again, click on next. If you live in North America, you can obviously select the data centers for North America. Otherwise, let it be Europe. This is the username that we will be using to log in into the WordPress admin panel. I'll enter a username and a password and click on install. This will begin the installation of WordPress. This may take a few minutes. So wait or go grab a cup of coffee for yourself. So the WordPress is successfully installed. Click on go to dashboard. Here you will see all the details about the fresh WordPress installation on your hosting service. You can see your plan details and the version of WordPress that is installed on your hosting service. Now click on WP admin button to go to your WordPress dashboard. Click on no thanks and then okay. So this is the WordPress dashboard for our newly created website. From here, we can customize our website. We can change the layout of our website, update the theme, 
add blog posts to our website, add new pages to the website and do a lot more. To open the dashboard anytime, all you have to do is go to your website's link howtomakeawebsite.co.in slash login and you will be able to access login system to log in to your WordPress admin account. And to go to the admin panel, type in your domain name and type slash WP admin to head to the admin panel. To visit your newly created website, click on visit website and you can see that a newly created website is already live. It has a basic theme layout and no content as of now. So let's change the theme of our website. Go to the dashboard again. Go to appearance. Click on themes. Now we already have three themes in our dashboard. To add new themes, click on add new and search for Astra. Now click on install and then click on activate. Click on visit website or go to your website to check if the changes have been applied. Now although we have installed a good theme for our website, we still don't have a nice home page. To have a nice home page, we'll install a new plugin. So go to plugins and click on add new. Now search for Astra starter sites and click on install now. Now click on activate. So plugin activated. So this plugin provides a good option of nicely designed and good templates for the home page of your website from which you can choose and directly apply to your website. Now go to active plugins and to see the designs provided by Astra Starter Sites plugin, click on see library. Now WordPress provides us with two options to customizing the layout of our website or theme it can be done through using Elementor or Beaver Builder. So we will choose Elementor because it makes it easier to change the layout of the website and makes it possible by simply dragging and dropping. So click on Elementor. And now you have all the available options that you can choose from. So click on the theme that you want to install. This is how the website will look once this is imported. Click on import this site and click on OK. So now this template is being imported. This might take a few minutes depending on the template that you are importing. Once this is done, click on view site. So this is how the website is now looking. So we're done with setting up a new theme and a new home page for our website. Now let's see how we can edit any page or any content on our website that we want to. So to edit anything, all you have to do is click on edit with Elementor and to edit anything, all you have to do is click on it and change the text from here. And click on update. Similarly, you can change anything to add any new section anywhere on the website, all you have to do is click on the section above which you want to add a new section and click on this plus button. This will add a new section as you can see where you can put any content you want in your website. So once you're done with all the changes, you can click here and exit to dashboard. So as you can see, the content has been updated on our website. To add a new page to your website, all you have to do is click on new and page and click on edit with Elementor. Now from here you can create a complete new page for your WordPress website. You can add images, heading, you can add text forms, you can include videos in your website. To add button you can click on the button. There are a lot of options provided by Elementor to customize and edit your new page. You can also use templates to import a ready-made template for your page. To import any template, all you have to do is click on insert and you will see the new imported template in your page. You can edit this template just like we can edit our theme. Once you're done with the changes, click on publish to publish the page. So now a new page is live. This is how a new page looks like. Isn't it great?
Now you can use Elementor to edit anything on your website. But if you want to edit the static footer and the header part of your website, click on customize. This will show the default part of your WordPress website, which you can edit using the WordPress dashboard. So you can see this pencil signs and you can click on these pencil signs to change the header and the footer part of your website. So to change the logo, click on this and you can click on change logo. So I added a new logo, click on select, crop image. You can also adjust the width of your logo. Once you're done, click on publish. And now as you can see on the website, the logo has been updated. So now that you have learned how to set up your own website and change the layout, add new themes to your website. And if you are following this video step by step till the end, you must be having a fully functional website by now. So customize your website as you like and do share the link of your new website in the comment section below so that we can also check you know, the websites created by you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends who are also willing to learn web development because this will give you a great motivational boost by you know being the first website that you create. And if you like our channel or if you like this video, do subscribe to the Stay Tonight channel. See you in the next video.